Generally speaking, fascism comes from the people who are wearing masks and want to beat the shit out of people who have a different opinion from them. And that is why this group needs to be defined as a terrorist organization that is not at all hyperbolic. <laughs> Question of the day, do you think it's time to classify Antifa as a terrorist organization? And why? Do you support the president? I'm going to say, yeah. I do. I absolutely do. This is one thing yes I'm 100% no. behind the president on. Uh, let me explain to you why I think they fit the, de the definition of a terrorist organization. So do it. Um, over the weekend, and this is something that it was really hard to sort of, we had to uh, aggregate these clips. So thank you to everyone who's, who's taken some of these videos. And if yeah. we don't give you credit, please let us know. Um, yeah. Over the weekend in Portland, they staged a counter protest or demonstration against the Proud Boys, uh, Antifa. And according to the media and the Portland mayor, Ted Wheeler, it was quite peaceful. Uh, on the other side was Antifa. Now, as far as I've seen so far, no reports of significant violence, thank God, from either side. Significant. Okay? Given the continuing <laughs> no movement, reports. the number of people involved, I'm grateful that this was largely a peaceful event. Really? No, why were there no reports? Because <laughs> we didn't report on it. Compared to open warfare, <laughs> yeah, this was rather peaceful. you be the ones doing the reports? Keep in mind, by the way, the Portland police yeah. had committed beforehand to not send officers in any crowd yes. before the event. Yeah. They admitted there was a possibility that crimes occurred outside the view <laughs> of the officers. Well, oh, my gosh. And when we say there are no reports, well, hold on. Maybe because you don't report it, but there is <laughs> there is footage from the event, like Ooh. like lots. We didn't come to talk. We come to bang it out. Bang it out. Hey, we didn't come to talk. We come to bang it out. Ah, uh, yes, the bang it out word that spoken by violence, Dr. Think. Martin Luther King. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have a dream. hammer. Hey, no hammers. No hammers. No hammers. Who has bro. to say that? Oh. Look at this. Oh damn. They're just. This is the guy they're going after. He throws one guy down. Uh, More uh, con that guy isn't even a problem. You guys gotta move. Completely unconscious. Right. And then oh. they're going back with the hammers, and then this guy this fails. This guy's to. falling. It's I short love bus. this one right May there. Maylock, in your eyes right oh, now. I need right. to do it. I need you to. I need you to calm down, sir. And, and we'll have some more context in those clips later, which are yeah. important. But, but by the way, that's one thing. Where whatever the left, they say no one has ever been killed by Antifa. Well, it's, that's not true. But they haven't killed as many people because they just suck at it. Yeah. The guy had a hammer, <laughs> yeah. a hammer and a window, couldn't and he anything. couldn't do it. Yeah. I think one of them it, hit themselves. Yeah. It was great. Well, and it's not for lack of trying either, all right? <laughs> Did he hit himself with a hammer? That's terrible, because that's a sharp side. It's like, boom. Oh, ah, no. What are you, a clown? Is this one of those giant inflatable pool toy hammers? Oh, my gosh. So anyway, Trump tweeted out that uh, major consideration being given yeah. to naming it for a terrorist organization that he would be watching closely. And of course, the left was upset about this, saying that, well, how could you declare Antifa a terrorist organization when down there there are white supremacist groups and they're the ones who commit actual violence? And we'll get into why that is entirely inaccurate as it relates yeah. to Portland and Antifa at large. But uh, yeah. President, I think uh, you got a lot of people who will sign a petition here for point one. This is what the left uses. And I think this is why we need to designate them a terrorist organization. They say that Antifa, uh, they aren't terrorists because they really aren't that violent. They're known as Antifa and they're also known for being violent. But for a group that's getting so much airtime oh. for being violent oh. and dangerous, they're not causing that much havoc. I forgot he was still in that clip. Beautiful and brave. <laughs> not a word. Beautiful. Unimportant. Here's something before we get into the uh, metadata, I guess. I don't know if that really applies in this mm. context. But maybe we personally infiltrated Antifa and they were handing out knives, brought sawed off shotguns. We're talking about shooting people at a Ben Shapiro protest. And by the way, our footage led to some arrests. We're going to take the knife. Thanks. Jeez. Uh, I have a, like, on the border between just a regular rifle and an assault weapon. And what does that mean? Right. Off style. <laughs> and then I've got, I've got a handgun. That's a guy, by the way. Could have fooled me. Yeah, I know. Well, that's what he's trying to do is fool you and then sue you for not using the right pronouns. pronouns fooling right. himself. Don't Dang forget, it. Antifa member tried to bomb an ICE facility uh, and he yeah. was shot when his rifle jammed. So yet again, again, Antifa, not so adept at using hammers or cleaning their rifle. Thank God. Oh. Just get some Ballastol or hops number nine, you ass. <laughs> That's what you're mad about. Then there's the Dayton shooter, by the way, an Antifa member or supporter, likely yeah. both, who praised the ICE fire bomber as a martyr. Right, and this is important wow, to note wow. that the left tries to throw everything under the umbrella right now. They say, well, oh, white supremacists, right? White supremacy, this is an, a response to white supremacy. And they, well, hold on, what's white supremacy? If you look at Antifa, the signs, the, the, the shirts, it says, if you vote for Trump, you're a racist. Yeah. So they're throwing everybody, including anyone who has a MAGA hat at their local church, yeah. as white supremacists, and that's what they're fighting when they say that they're anti-fascist. I want to make this really clear right now. That's not what I'm doing. I'm not saying all liberals, just like they say all white supremacists, all Trump right. voters are white supremacists. Yeah. I am talking about Antifa, you, Antifa, specifically, your violent crimes. By the way, <laughs> any mass murders, 
uh, uh, occurred from people who are actively members of the Proud Boys? How about Patriot Prayer? Because that's yeah. what we were talking about here in Portland. Sure. And I, I, I'm not in any gang, I guess, that's identified as a gang. Some people call it a gang, Proud Boys. I just think yeah. that you end up with some people who are looking for a bar fight and they won't leave until they have a fight. That being said, any mass murderers who declared themselves to be Proud Boys or in the name of Proud Boys or Patriot Prayer, I want to know. because. We just named some from Antifa, yeah. not white supremacists, not Trump voters, not people who might have had racist views. Yeah. Proud Boys. That's what happened in Portland. Yeah. Any, go ahead. Please send them. By It'll the way, what, what, again, this is really clear. None. We're talking about Antifa. We're not even talking about the socialist liberals who shot up Republicans because they were Bernie Sanders right. supporters. Just addressing Antifa. Hit the notification bell, by the way, if you're subscribed, or just bookmark this page. Check back every day. We upload a new video every single day. That's the way to beat the algorithms. Of course, you get a full daily show, like 75% more content if you join Mug Club at lightoutcutter.com. Yeah. Slash Mug Club. Another argument the left makes that they shouldn't be a terrorist organization. They say, well, there's a lack of organization. <laughs> Right? They say they can't be a terrorist organization because they don't have a leader, they don't have a clearly defined charter or roster. That's, that's literally wow. their strategy, <laughs> is to try and remain anonymous. Yes. And keep in mind, they're still organized enough for us to infiltrate. That's important to know <laughs> because true. we got on their encrypted messaging apps and they meet up and they try to, I guess, create this illusion that there is no central organization. Yeah. Yeah. That's not the case. We've seen it firsthand. And when you're talking about a terrorist organization, you don't just need to say, do they have a, ros do they have a roster of leaders? Do they have uh, some kind of a man Manifesto. It's very clear wherever they go, there are, there are congruent sort of acts of violence, one of which is a very clear anti-police officer ideology. Yeah. All cops are bastards! A-C-A-B! All cops are bastards! A-C-A-B! All cops are bastards! A-C-A-B! All cops are bastards! Oh, it's a new chant. You know <laughs> that was a rough transition. Parasite. Not very organized. Don't <laughs> yeah. shoot yourself! Now don't wow. be upset! Wow. That they won't, they won't hire out. smart people. Yeah. Suicide Jeez. is the only way out. All wow. cops are bastards. Well, why do you think they're all bastards? Because they all generalize. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> they all profile blacks. So you have a problem with generalization. All cops are bastards. <laughs> <laughs> also, race trader. Yeah, exactly. Right. Race trader. Exactly. They were saying that that one black officer, yeah. I felt yeah. so bad for the guy. I know. Yeah, He's just sucks. sitting there trying to do his job. And you know what, Antifa? You're turning people yeah. into conservatives by doing this. Something else that's important to note, their violence isn't directed, by the way, just at, you know, they go, this is how it happens. Because they say, well, hold on a second. All Trump supporters are white supremacists. Right. They say, yeah, so that means all Proud Boys. That means people who are cr basically men's Christian groups who support Donald Trump. And then what happens is you go down, you go down the, uh, the totem pole there, and they're go after the Proud Boys left, Antifa just assaulted yeah. people who were passing by who they thought might be conservative. <laughs> I mean, that, that yeah. should seem like, like enough. That, those were not Proud Boys. Yeah. They had long since left. Yeah. Another point here when we're talking about terrorist organizations, the U.S. Uh, uh, federal regulations, they, uh, they define domestic terrorism, okay, as yeah. the unlawful use or threatened use of force or violence by a group of individual based and operating entirely within the United States or Puerto Rico without foreign... Blah, blah, blah. So it does talk about, um, or any segment thereof, in furtherance of political or social objectives. Does Antifa fit this definition? Absolutely. Not only do they fit the definition, keep in mind, terrorism you don't necessarily have to commit violence. You right. have to yeah. instill terror. Mm -hmm. Antifa obviously does that, and then they go one step, one step further and actually commit acts of violence. Yeah, so they're, yeah. terror, they're, they're a terrorist organization plus plus. These people are enemies of the United States. I, yes. I think that's important to know. They're enemies of left, right, all American citizens who want to have a conversation. Yes. Um, but I also think it would be important to classify them as a terrorist organization because then the mainstream media would have to cover it more uh, accurately. Here, there, because right now, right, without this classification, yeah. and they just, as we showed you earlier, they said, well, it was largely peaceful. So that's talking about an event inaccurately, but they speak about Antifa at large inaccurately, painting them as the good guys. Trans. It says it right in the name, Antifa, anti-fascism, which is what they were there. Um, fighting. Listen, there's. We're literal with the names. Perfect. Right. Not violence. when it comes to Nazis. They wouldn't Nazi. have been anywhere near it. <laughs> National the socialism. Yeah. Draw the line. Oh. Were out Wordplay. Scaring Come on. The living day of an out of the most good guys. of the people in that town. <laughs> I think that a lot of people oh recognize that when pushed, self defense is a legitimate response to what? white supremacist and neo Nazi violence. He wrote a handbook. The problem is to equate the violence in reaction against bigotry with the bigotry itself wait, is wait, to what? misunderstand the fact that when you go to cancer treatment, Treatment. The radiation is tough treatment, but it is meant to remove the cancer. 
I don't know if it, so, he was probably looking at the show yeah. map before. He's like, yeah, this is good. I'm going to look really smart saying <laughs> yeah. that. So, so, so by his logic, Analogy they're, be- they're beating the Republican out of us, <laughs> yeah. essentially, yeah, by that logic. It, by the way, well, I, I agree with everything that they said, that not all punches are equal, that you have to look at a response to violence, that violence is not a completely inappropriate response when it's uh, conducted in self-defense. But keep right. in mind... Proud Boys, again, I'm not associated with them. I'm not, a, I don't think, I'm not a supporter of joining groups because I think you get this mass hypnosis and groupthink and you get this yeah. amoeba that's the mob and it's dangerous. Not a fan of it. But Proud Boys, a lot of these groups were created in response to Antifa violence. Yeah. Right. right. They, they say, and I love that too, by the way. Chicken Antifa, the anti-fascist, national, socialist. Stop with the wordplay. <laughs> <laughs> you really believe I mean, Nazis were socialists? Well, I don't know. Gun control, anti-free speech, higher taxes, national. Well, okay, well, listen, but they were racist. <laughs> What? <laughs> Are you Antifa? <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> Secretly, Jeez. yes. But here's what's important. Oh These God. groups were created. The reason the Proud Boys were walking in Portland. By the way, if anyone can send me any footage here, any footage from this weekend of the Proud Boys assaulting random people, any footage of the right-wing groups, because they were tarred and feathered as extreme right-wing groups, and maybe there were some right. extremists, any footage of them uh, berating cops and saying that all cops are bastard, bastards, any of them. Suppose, the white supremacists, right? right? I saw American yeah. History X. <laughs> they should be worse yeah. than just walking yeah. through the streets right. and leaving. They were created as a response to Antifa violence. Antifa claims they were a response to what? Fascism. What's fascism? You see the t-shirts, you see the signs, anyone voting for Donald Trump. Yep. The Proud Boys wow. had a clear a reason, target. defending Trump supporters against violent leftists like Antifa. Antifa sees anyone who supports Donald Trump as fascists, therefore, by, by their own logic, as they've described, therefore they are warranting, they are deserving of violent action, just for having a MAGA hat. Jeez, Think about that for yeah. a second. And by the way, while we're talking about fascism, fascism doesn't generally come from a president who lowers taxes, who deregulates, <laughs> right. who supports free speech and wants an armed populace. Yes. Generally speaking, fascism comes from the people who are wearing masks and want to beat the shit out of people who have a different opinion from them. And that is why this group needs to be defined as a terrorist organization. That is not at all hyperbolic. I want to see them behind bars or at least on the Southern Poverty Law Center's list. Come on, make their list. <laughs> hey there, YouTube viewer. If you like this video, click one of these other videos playing in a box, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You may be wondering why after this outlandish video, this is such a straight end card. That's because we've recently learned that end cards actually determine the YouTube algorithm as it relates to controversy on a sliding scale. So we have uh, a yellow and it escalates all the way to the word f-